Hi everyone, I am Rusha Mukherjee, a student of Srinagar Law College and an intern at Lexis & Company. Today I am going to talk about the case of Shabnam vs. State of UP and discuss about the various remedies that is being given to a person who has been given death penalty. So let's start about these things. It's about 13 years ago. It 2008. In 14th April, it was in Amroha in Varan Kheri, a family of 8 people. Shabnam was the 25 year daughter of the family and the father was Shokat, mother was Hazmi, His bro her brother was Anis, the sister-in-law and a 10 month old baby and she also had other family members. Shaukat was a teacher by profession and Shabna herself was a double Amy. While she got into a relationship with Salim, who was only a 8th standard pass. They both were having an affair and during this affair, Shabnam got pregnant. During this period when Shabnam got pregnant, the family opposed the marriage and they did not allow Shabnam to marry Salim. And then what happened? Shabnam and Salim both made a plan. A murderous plan. They mixed slipping pills in the food of the entire family. And then or when all of them were deep asleep, they killed all the eight members of the family. And that took brutal. And after that, Salim ran away. But Shabnam did not run away. Shabnam stayed back there and the next day she was screaming that a criminal had killed her family. But the police very soon understood and investigated and they had completely got the evidence that Shabnam and Selim were the murderers of the family. Now it comes to the fact that the, they were taken into custody. During the police custody, during she was in jail, Shabnam gave birth to a child and that child was being brought up by Uzmat Sefai and he is actually taking care of the child. In 2010, Amroha, Amroha Sessions Court gave death penalty to the murderer that is Shabnam. In 2013, it was verified and confirmed by the Allahabad High Court. In 2015, even the Supreme Court had given its assent to the death penalty. Then a mercy petition was filed before the UP governor, Ram Nair, and she told that she had some responsibility towards her son, Mohammed Taj. But that was completely rejected. In 2016, she gave a mercy petition to the, the then President Pranam Mukherjee, but that was even rejected. In January 2020, in the Supreme Court, a bench was set which was headed by the Chief Justice S.A. Bobre and even that bench upheld the death sentence given. Now coming that what are the special remedies that is given to the person who is being conferred death penalty. First of all, Article 72 gives the President the power to mercy anyone and Article 161 of the Constitution gives the Governor the power to mercy anyone. Step by step if we go, first of all, a lower court gives death penalty which is being confirmed by the High Court under Section 366 of the CRPC. Then it is confirmed by the Supreme Court. And after that, a new review petition can be filed if a new evidence has come into place or there is substantial proof that there is something wrong in the judgment. Even after that, a curative petition could be filed. And if the court finds that there is some merits in the curative petition, it goes back to the court where it has given the death sentence. And even if the curative petition has failed, then comes the scope of mercy petition. The mercy petition is given to the president or the governor 
under Article 72 or 161 of the Constitution. Now we can see that what are the five powers that are given to these President and Governors when they are given a mercy petition. The first one is to pardon, second one is to respite, to, respite, to commute and remission. These are the five powers given to them. How is a mercy petition filed before them first of all? The mercy petition is being filed that the relative will first submit a written petition to the president and the president secretariat accepts it on behalf of the president. Then it goes to the ministry of home affairs for its recommendation who will discuss the merits with the state and give its recommendations to the president and then it's completely the president's final call on it and if that is rejected nothing else could be done the nlu delhi in its survey of 2016 said that india had almost 12 women in its death row that is in the row of death penalty wherever china did not have any such reports at that time this is all for today in this video i have tried to make it very clear that what what was the famous shabnam case 